very big hello to my wonderful future engineers out there. Well, I know that brings in a lot of motivation, right? Future engineers. Well, I wish, I hope and pray that you all be good engineers really, really soon. So, anyways, whenever we talk about engineering, one term parallelly comes into our head and that is JEE -E examination. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are preparing for it and you will be having your J main session one happening up really soon towards the end of Jan. Today we are on 19th of December, that means very few days are left. And I'm pretty sure within these many months of preparation, you have got an understanding of where you are standing. Was your J preparation a successful one or a bad one? Well, if you have not analyzed it yet, it's high time to do so. As of now, while I'm talking, please think about this. I am making this video for you guys to have a thought about this because this is the biggest mistake. My dear children, if you do not analyze your preparation, you do not know in which direction you should be going ahead. And which is exactly why I am over here. There might be a group of children who might not be feeling that great about their JE preparation, might be worried about it. You might have so, 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 so reasons for it also. We definitely get it. And if at all, JE is too difficult for you to crack in. Please understand that we need to have a question in our head. And we need to find the answer for that as well really, really soon. The question says, do you have a plan B? And if at all you're thinking, ma'am, I just have one plan and that's enough. And this is if I have plan B, it will get deviated. There are lots of people who think like that. But my children, you should realize that it's a very smart way to have multiple plans. Focus on your major examination, give your best out there, but you should be having multiple plans because you are giving yourself multiple options later on. You can actually have that, what you call a luxury of choosing from the options. If at all, you have multiple plans. And if you do not have, you are shutting down all the doors or the options that you could have had. So it's not a bad thing to have a plan B. And if you feel, I'm telling you again, if at all you feel that ma'am, somehow I don't think I would be able to crack J examination, I would request you to think about your plan B. But give your best for as much as you can for the examination you're preparing for. It's not like, okay, now plan B is there. I should be just focusing on this plan B. I will forget whatever I have done so far. Listen, I am not a bad person. <laughs> okay, I know that you guys have been working really hard. Keep working hard. Give your best out there. Okay, give JE examination. See what are your chances of getting in there. But at the back of your head, understand that there is a plan B for which I have to start taking tiny steps as well. You should not ignore those plans. You get it? And I'll tell you why you should be having plan B. Well, the plan B is KCET and Comet K for all engineering aspirants out there. Why? KCET is an examination which is focused on your entry into the top engineering colleges of Karnataka. Okay. And uh, the top as well as the normal colleges out there in Karnataka. And uh, my dear children, this exam can be written only by people who are residents of Karnataka and also there are certain other exceptions as well. Okay. If you talk about Comet K, it is also an examination which focuses on entry um, into the colleges of Karnataka itself. But this is a pan-India examination. Anyone who is outside Karnataka also can write this examination. And J means we all know. It's also a pan-India examination. But the difference comes when we talk about the students who are uh, basically registering or appearing. If you see the numbers, you could understand the difference. Here, it could be 11 to 14.7 lakh. 
whereas in KCET it drastically decreases to 2 to 3.3 lakh, in Comet Key even more decrease that is 1.3 lakh. And now if we talk about the what do you call uh, the competition level obviously with these many numbers do you expect anything else? No. It's very high, we know that. And we all have been preparing it, uh, preparing for this examination with this idea that yes, the competition is really high, I need to work hard, right? If at all you talk about KCT, it's also high. Why? Because people of Karnataka are writing examinations for the colleges of Karnataka over here. Uh, their primary examination, no one will leave the examination. They would all want to write this examination. They won't miss it, which is why the competition would be high. Comet K, since many people might not be aware of it, which is why over here, I'll say the competition level would be medium. Now, if at all you talk about the question level, we all know about JE, it's definitely difficult. Yes, KCT, I'll say it's moderate. Comet K, it's medium moderate. By that, I mean, it's a bit above moderate. It's not too easy, not just moderate, a bit above that. So if at all, if I have a comparison between three of them in question level, I'll say KCT is the easier one. If at all competition level, then Comet K would be easy to crack in because of this reason. And it's not me who is telling you this. It's your fellow friends. Just imagine, don't think like Jasmine Ma'am is telling this, 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 this thing. And uh, yeah, it does not work like that. It's not like that. Listen, my dear children, we are here after talking to a lot of children, after teaching a lot of children, we have an understanding about certain things and we feel that, yes, it might help you as well, which is exactly why we are over here. So previous year, we had Sujal with us. Sujal is a Diksha offline student and uh, his score in KCET was 851. Okay, he had 851 rank in KCET. And uh, there's a small clip that I want to uh, make you guys hear and have an understanding, okay? He'll let you know that why you should be starting off your preparation for plan B also now itself. You can take baby steps, but I'm telling you, you should be starting now. And here's why. So listen to this carefully, okay? Uh, you should have a clarity about what you want to do. <laughs> because many people do JE, but then they're not sure if they want to do CET. They keep it as a backup plan and they, 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 they like, if you do JE, you'll be able to do well in CET. But that's not true. The exam pattern is different. You should know when to switch. You should not let others decide what you're doing. So, if you're not able to do in JE, it's better to switch to CET. Because if you think you'll do better, and if you give up CET, even you mess up boards also, which is very helpful for CET, which is really useful. So you need to do well in both. So you should decide what you want to do. Because if you focus only on JE, you won't be able to do properly in other exams. You should know when. So basically, my dear children, um, they were also, okay, those of you who came, they were also preparing for JE examination, just like you guys. And they had an understanding that, yes, we need to have a backup plan. Otherwise, there are chances that we might fall off, which is exactly why they appeared for KCT examination as well. So the thing that he is saying is that most of the times when we prepare for JE, we forget about your PU2 boards and things like that. And actually, if at all you consider KCT examination, in KCT examination, your PU2 marks also has a bigger role to play. So as I said, it's KCT is comparatively easier because KCT examination, how much marks you're getting in the paper, during the paper attempt, my dear children, that is being counted. Only 50% of that is being counted. Rest is decided by what you score in your PU2 boards. Now, people who prepare just for JE, they do not give much of their time for their PU2 boards, which is why their marks might be comparatively sometimes lesser. And if you score less in your PU2, it is going to affect your rank in KCET as well. Which is why he said that we should know at what time we need to switch. So as of now, you have your pre-boards in the month of January. If at all, you are, I know that in your January month, you have J examination as well and you might be preparing for that. Prepare for it. Prepare for J. that's not a big problem. Later, after your J main session one, in the month of February, make sure you put your direction into your PU2 boards as well. If at all you are planning, if at all you're considering giving KCT examination. Shift your gears to your PU2 boards as well, prepare for it. And by then you will get to, get to an understanding of how well did your exam go. 
right? And from this point onwards, put on your little efforts for solving little questions from your KCET as well as Comet K. I'll tell you, you might just need a little amount of your time, but this time counts. So please start doing it. And it's not like the exams are, uh, what do you call, uh, similar. You need to understand that. He also said one more very important thing. People think that J is a tough examination. If I study for that, basically, I will be able to crack KCET and Comet KL, just chumma register and keep it like that. No, you need to understand the J is a difficult examination. KCET asks more basic concepts. And we, as human beings, generally, okay, we generally, uh, what do you call, uh, mess up when it comes to basic things. We prepare the high weightage things and the important things. We forget studying the basic part of the story. And we, we, this is where we exactly lose our marks, which is why I'm telling you the exams have two different approaches. So if at all you're considering having a plan B, please start preparing from today onwards. Take out a little bit of your time for KCT previous year question practice. See what type of questions are coming. Start solving them with a proper timing because J over here, my dear children, it's difficult examination, but uh, there's no time crunch. Okay, there's no major time crunch. That is what I would I would preferably say in comparison to KCT and Comet K. Because KCT and Comet K is what do you call all about your speed and accuracy. In KCT, my dear children, you get 60 questions, approximately 70 minutes. Okay, 60 questions, approximately 70 minutes. Total time is 80 minutes. Out of that, 10 minutes for question reading and things like that is given. Later on, you get your paper and things. 70 minutes, okay, per 60 questions, my dear children. So, obviously, when you do an overall count, you have to anyway solve your questions within one minute, whatever the question is. So, it is more about your speed and accuracy, which is why I'm telling you, start preparing from now on. And everything has the same basis, your PU2 as well as your PU1. You have your NCRT with you. You can go ahead. The subject also, if you see physics, chemistry, math, physics, chemistry, math, all of them, same. I'll tell you the difference and the good part. Okay. Here, if at all you get your answers correct, in JE you get plus 4. In case 8, it is just plus 1. In common K also plus 1. But there is no negative marking in KCT as well as Comet K. Here you lose your marks. Here there is no negative marking, which is why you can do free attempt as well, my dear children. Now you say, will you consider KCET as well as uh, Comet K? If at all you think so, my dear children, start from today. I'm telling you again. And if you think whatever I told until now makes some sense, Definitely share it with your friends also who are struggling with the same. Okay? Fine. And if, if at all you need help for your KCET preparation, if, okay, only if at all you need help with your KCET preparation, we are soon going to launch Abhyas KCET test series, something that everyone wanted for so long. We did it previously and we got so many ranks. Rank 171, Prajwal. Rank 443, Kiran. Rank 693, Diksha. Rank 934, Sachin. Rank 2427. And the list goes on, my dear children. There were so many toppers out there. So it's just a test series that you can take. And my dear children, what are you going to get over here? 35 KCT test, as in all the subjects would be covered. And 4 would be free. 31 is going to be paid. So you can go through and check whether uh, you are liking it or not. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Anyway, uh, the new thing that we have added up from the previous year is that we are giving you chapter-wise KCT PYQs of the last 10 years as well. Okay, of PU2. Of PU2, we are giving you the chapter-wise KCT PYQs. Make sure you take your time and solve it up. There will be real KCT exam pattern as well as timing because it's, as I said, it's all about your speed and your accuracy. Subjects covered would be physics, chemistry, mathematics, as well as biology. My dear children, uh, the amount that we have for this is rupees 1499. So make sure you take it up quickly. As of now, it's not launch. Tomorrow is the launch. Be there for the launch as well. If you have any doubts, you can be a part of our live session as well. I'll request you to be a part of it, but it's up to you. So if you're being stuck in your preparation, it's okay. Please go ahead and prepare. If you have time, definitely come if you're interested. So yes, and uh, yes. 
So why KCET and Comet came matter over here? I'll just sum up. Do not worry, I won't take much of your time. First thing, broader college options. So KCET actually gives you government as well as private college seat. In government college, my dear children, your fees can go up to like, it's between the range of 40 to 50,000 per year. And that's a very bonus point about KCET examination. Whereas in private also, the maximum it went the previous year was 1,21,000. Apart from it, obviously, the college will have bus and mess charge and everything. That is totally different. But the basic fee I'm talking about it, it is pretty much very, very decent. So you have, anyway, you have broader college options, as is government college also. Also, the private colleges such as RVC, BMS, PES, UVC, etc. In Comet K, it opens uh, your options into the private colleges. Okay, into just the private colleges, there is no government college access with the help of Comet K. So each of them have their own differences, which is why I'm telling you, please write them both. One happens in the month of uh, April, okay, one happens in the month of April and one happens in the month of May, both after your PU2 boards and that's the best part. Okay, so you would be a bit more relaxed to give your examination and both of them require a good amount of your PU2 knowledge. So yes, it's a pretty good examination. Now, two, financial flexibility. KCT is an examination having low fees, as I told you, because there is government quota seats as well. Comet K, it's slightly higher than KCT. Slightly as in, it is higher, definitely higher. If you, if you compare both of them, it's definitely higher. But if at all you compare with the other examinations out there and also the management quota seats, I'll say pretty much decent. Okay, pretty much decent. But yes, we can still do our inquiry on it, right? And uh, it's just a backup option that we are having. So why not try it out? Now, backup rank advantage. In KCET, ranks are based on your CET. As I told you, your CET, how well you perform in your KCET entrance examination and also your PU2 marks because 50-50 percentage weightage is being taken. But Comet case totally depends on your exam score. What you, How well you have performed in your exam, that would be enough. Now, so if your boards go average, Comet K can still save your engineering seat as well. So that's the competition between KCET as well as Comet K, just giving you an idea of things so that you know you're aware of it. Now, same preparation, double output. Every hour you spend revising NCRT or solving DPPs, that is daily practice paper, you are helping in yourself for both this examination. Make sure you are having a strict timing also. And just one extra month of uh, practice post your KCET can help you secure a good rank in Comet K as well. So once you're given your KCET, one, more, one month more extra preparation can help you with your Comet K as well, which is exactly what I've written over here. So my dear children, please consider this. And if at all you think that I made sense, okay, subscribe to the channel right away. And uh, I have a little message for you from your senior. Okay, so she talks, she talks about something that we all do. And uh, listen to her carefully. It comes towards the end. Listen to her, okay? Let us know what all things students should avoid in their case. Uh, my students do this one thing, like including me, they are always trying to ask others what to do, what to do, instead of taking one advice and actually acting on it. Uh, so instead of uh, going around asking everyone, just begin preparing as soon as possible and be serious, don't procrastinate. Okay, so you feel procrastination was something that you did? Yes, see when I faced that issue, uh, but I decided to get serious at least during the last months because this mm -hmm. was my last, last chance. Attempt. Yes, definitely. So, you know, when someone says it's my last chance, basically they're not considering I will be giving another options. This is the chance. Don't think that basically you will be having much more options, even though you have. But my dear children, consider this is the chance that I have worked really hard for it. And I'm pretty sure you guys will absolutely nail it. So, my dear children, I just had these many things to tell you. I hope this video had helped you somewhere. And as I said, if at all you feel it is helpful, share it with your friends and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best. Please take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.